this is what my garden looked like two years ago. Uh, if you notice the space behind the greenhouse, you'll see all that bamboo. Well, my husband and I decided to cut it all down. We wanted to grow more food, and that was the only obvious place in our backyard. Of course, we had bamboo everywhere. It covered literally everything in the backyard. Finally, after much effort and time, we cleared out all that bamboo, although we did keep some few pieces for later. Um, but first, we had to install some steps. We had to put up steps so that we can access that area behind the greenhouse. And so what you're looking at are the steps being installed. It took us a while, but we installed the steps. And then we had started to install the raised beds, but this is what happened. It snowed. We had a pretty bad winter and it halted the construction that was happening in our backyard. But soon the winter weathery cleared up and as we climbed the steps to our new level, this is what it looked like when we finished the raised beds. And this is what it looked like after. You'll notice the raised beds. They extend the entire length of the, uh, this area just about. And I'm kind of on a weird angle, so I can't give you a full shot. We have uh, more food planted in each of the beds. And um, behind the raised beds, you'll notice these are uh, trees. We have some fruit trees growing. And we even use the uh, bamboo that we cut down to make uh, teepees for our uh, vegetables to climb up. Next, we decided to build a retaining wall to support the wall in front of the greenhouse. And this is what it turned out to look like after. Next, we turned our attention to the front of the greenhouse that needed a lot of work. So this is the before. And this is the after. All right, so what you're looking at now is a new pathway that leads to my greenhouse. On either side of the pathway, you'll notice lots of plants. All are edible. We have lots of food growing in front of the greenhouse. And we have plants in containers. And when we walk toward the side and back of the greenhouse, we have more containers of food pathway you have a rain barrel here more edibles and even in the corner over there you'll see two plants those are my um, my melons and squash all right so we are behind the greenhouse now if we take the path down I wanted to show you how we try to use advantage of all the space. Um, I'm going to go over the wall because there is a really thin space in between the two walls. And you'll notice some plants. Those are sunflower seeds and I planted them so that they can come up. And we'll still have, again, more food, even though the space is pretty small.
All right, so my backyard renovation is complete. The plants are in the ground. The retaining wall is up. 